Hello everybody, this is Mr. Qualzen here to help you figure out how to get the standalone app for Twilight Sparkle's secret shipfic folder, the card game, onto your computer and working properly and all that fun stuff. To start off, here we are on secretshipfic.com. This is the main site for the game. If you've never played the game before, um, I think I'll probably do another video about that at some point or something. But it is a very fun game where you take the role of Twilight Sparkle and you ship everybody and everything to your whimsical, horrendous fantasies. So, how are we going to get started, you ask? We are going to come over here to play online. Click it, click it. We have a whole list of different ways to play online here. Uh, Vassal has its own module, module, however you say that word. Tabletop Simulator on Steam has it. I'm too lazy to buy it. And then we have the fa fan-made standalone apps. This one here is by Rabana. We we'll go ahead and click that. That brings us to this Reddit page, but we're going to ignore that unless you really want to go to it. Um, it gives you some rules and client things and how to access chat. But I'm going to be going, going to go over that anyway. So, we'll just ignore that for now. On that page, it gives you a link to this right here on GitHub. This is the important one. This is where you'll always find the newest edition and whatnot. From this page, we're going to go ahead and download the zip. This is going to have everything you need to run the game and whatnot. Save it wherever you want and extract it. Very important. We are going to get a folder that looks kind of like this. We have a card editor, the server, and the actual game. For this video, all we're going to worry about is the game. Uh, nothing else. So, go ahead and double click that and run it. Alright, here we have the start screen. Nothing special. It has your name, a password you can set, which for reserved names and whatnot, uh, you don't need to worry about that, just like it says. This key will let you get back into the game in case you disconnect. So make sure you know what it is. You can right-click it and generate a new one, so you don't have to think of something every time. This is the IP address that you're wanting to connect to. So whoever's uh, whoever's running the server, you want to connect to that IP address. And that is the port that it is on, on the computer. It's always 27015. Let's pretend for a second that you are connecting to your friend's computer, and this is all correct. Let's go ahead and connect. We have successfully connected to the server. It's ver a very boring screen right now. This is our shipping field. You can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Right click pans. Left click selects, kind of. Um, once everybody is in the game, you will click on the shipping field, press enter, that brings up the chat, and you're going to type exclamation point ready. This will initiate the countdown for the start of the game, shown in the top right corner. Decks have been shuffled. We now have a starting hand. And we have goals. If you've never played the game before, this is all confusing to you, and that's yeah. okay. Computer says I get to go first. You are now in the game. Go have fun. I'm probably going to make another video starting right here, explaining the game and how to play and all those fun things. Um, so continue to that, to know the ins and outs of getting the game to work. I'll also do another video probably on how to get the server to work. Because that's important if you want to play with friends. 
lyckas.